So, back a few months ago, I did a video about when me chugging some beer. It was a Christmas video, actually. It was a Merry Christmas video. And at the time, I just thought to myself, what can I do for a Merry Christmas video that I have never, that I, that I have personally never seen before and would be funny and entertaining, at least in my mind, would be funny and entertaining for other people to see. And so I thought chugging a beer would be a good idea. And uh, people have... I mean, I've, I've, gotten, I've gotten reception back for it. People have enjoyed it. There, there are people out there who, who genuinely like it. Like, they're very entertained by it. They think it's funny. And that's, and that's the kind of route I was going for. So, I'm going to do the same thing. Except this time, instead of just chugging beer for a special occasion, I'm just going to chug beer for the, for the heck of it. So, I got a Coors Light beer can again. It's a smaller one. The first time I did this... I chugged a beer like like this. Uh, I was not expecting it to be as hard for me personally as it actually was. Will it be as hard this time around? That I'm not too sure yet. Uh, the can is smaller than the other one, so that might help me in getting it down more evenly in a much more even flow, much more even even rhythm. It, it might not feel such a struggle. Plus, like. Um, I might be more used to the taste of Coors right now than I was a couple months ago, so maybe it will work out. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, so without further ado, here I am again to chug another Coors Light beer. Excuse me. Does that count? I think it counts. There's barely anything left. I just chugged the whole freaking can. Ugh. Whew. So. Excuse me again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Shoot. Ugh. Oh, that was tough. That was so tough right there. I think I know what went wrong there. I mean, I think I did. I think I chugged it fairly. Uh, I mean, I just, I never, when I was drinking like this, never left my lips. It was always on my lips. So I think that counts. I think that's fair. I was constantly taking in liquid. Uh... I think part of the I think part of the problem this time maybe this was related to last time as well was uh, I talked too much before drinking the beer and I didn't allow myself to breathe to take a deep breath to let some oxygen in because when I started drinking I felt like I was out of breath already like I felt like I could barely breathe like I felt like I was being taken like yeah i felt like it was i felt out of breath when i just, just right the moment i started drinking beer i feel out of breath like after talking for like two minutes straight without really giving myself some breathing room in between my uh, sen sentences and just drinking right away i was very confident when i first started drinking but right the moment i started drinking i feel like very 
out of breath right here. Like if I should have given myself, I should have given myself like one of those. I should have like a, like one or two or maybe more of those deep breaths. I should have done that because I was I I didn't realize it until it was already going down my throat. But I was I was out of breath from uh from talking. Uh, so yeah, I think that's some advice is, you know, you got to let yourself breathe, which I mean, may seem to make sense. Like it's common sense to some people like no shit, sure. Like, duh, of course you got to breathe. But like, I'm just saying it because that's just what I experienced right now. You know, if you're talking or if you're doing something that's like, you know, making you out of, out of breath, like if you were running cross country or track and something like that, and then you just started trying to chug something, whether water or beer well no you know i I, would, I shouldn't say that if you do, i just beer for right now because i can't guarantee that the same thing would happen with water because there's also a distinct taste to beer that might make it hard for some people to drink it uh the last drop of beer i felt was the strongest and that was tough like i mean that's but I wasn't surprised because i've been told multiple times and i experienced it for myself that the bottom part of the beer cans are always like the strongest but yeah like again that's what i would say is if i want to if i want to do better at this i would and for anyone else out there who cares to do this kind of crap i actually don't recommend you do this i'm only doing i'm only doing this for fun and for other people's entertainment and not for my own personal sake because i like to entertain people i like to have fun uh i would say give yourself some i, I mean to myself i would give myself some breath, some breathing room before doing it because like I just was talking and talking and talking and just pumped up and rushing trying to like trying to you know get right on to drinking because I, I felt rushed because I was already talking for like a minute and a half at least so it's like people are like all right come on start you know chugging already so I felt rushed to do that and then that's when I and because of that I didn't give myself enough time to breathe and breathe properly and I think that's what happened so yeah that was my that's my conclusion right there. Thank you for watching this video of me chugging beer. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed me struggling while I was trying to chug the beer down. I or at least I felt I felt like I was struggling. I don't know how it came off on camera. Uh yeah. Thank you again for watching.